Let's find so many upgrades that things become incredibly stupid. Starting with one of these two idiots. This is already good. The more coins I have, the more damage I do. So I really just need to find a lot of coins and not take any damage along the way also. But that shouldn't be so hard at least in the early levels because everything is really stupid over here. But coins are going to be the name of the game. Floors like this are going to get stressful at least later on. But as long as I'm gathering coins, I'm pretty happy. And I already found one of these. Sacrifice a crystal. That goes that way. Made my way up to here where we'll get some new stuff over there provided we don't screw anything up. Two crystals to open that and I get a coin plus a key. 14 coins so far, not a ton of damage but definitely enough to kill these morons without too much effort. Should have walked to the left from the beginning because here we can get the death ray. Which does that. Which might be good, it might not be good. I think we're going to stick to the original gun for now. Uh, because the other one I will have to think too much to use and the more I think the worse I do. But we'll use some of our many keys to unlock whatever this is. Which I can get in there if I want to sacrifice bombs. I only have one bomb so I don't really want to push in there. I would rather be stupid and try out a challenge room. This will be fine. I just can't take any damage at all. I know exactly what I am doing here. Well, uh, not doing a ton of damage myself. Somehow didn't take damage there. Kind of forgot what those guys did to be honest. Because they'll appear wherever they want. Then it's time for another wave. But look at all the money we're going to get. We'll hop over those. Hop over those also. We got to stay in the middle range here because it's dangerous elsewhere. Good. So far so good. And that's that. We get a very colorful looking chest. And then we get weapon badge. Which simply increases the gun level. I'll take that all day long. And for lack of any better options, it's time to fight the god of trolls. So this should be an interesting fight. I don't think I've ever fought this one before and I'm not really sure what's about to happen. So those at some point hit the ground. Good. We're doing enough damage we can kind of just bully our way through this I think. Damage isn't super high yet but it's high enough that this isn't a problem. Just gotta keep firing on it. Hopefully not taking- and come on, few more hits. Dead. Not actually sure what this thing is. Increased rate of fire, firepower badge. Cool. We're getting much stronger already. Just gotta finish filling my wisdom meter. I forgot about these as well. But we're also gonna kill him in a hurry. Thanks to our rapid firepower and a little bit of extra damage. This room gave me a big gold coin, so we're up to uh, 40 coins, which should be plenty of extra damage, especially with our increased rate of fire. These vertical rooms make me nervous sometimes because you can get layers of idiots stacking up in a hurry. That wasn't so bad though. Okay, I've unlocked the wisdom room. I either get the silver compass or the monocle. I think I'm going to take the silver compass. This shows all rooms on the map so I can better orient myself. I mean, my gun can be really good. It's already really good and it's only going to get better the richer I get. I could use a few items that could get me extra money though. That would also be just fine by me. This room has a golden chest in it. Uh, let's see if I can not let that distract me for long enough to actually pick up some stuff. I do have to use a key to open it, but probably worth it. I did get an egg, so we'll get a companion at some point. This is unnecessarily dangerous. Uh, okay, and we'll be okay. Managed to refill my crystals. Definitely want to pick that up before things go screwy on me. Now let's hope for some really good luck as we enter the item room, we get a gun or that. So that's Destiny or Black Friday. I think on this I'm actually going to take Black Friday. That makes everything at the shop half price. Since money is so important to me this run, I want to hold as much of it as I can. I will find a new gun eventually anyway. That's not a big concern to me. That's also a lot of crystals. I hope I have something to actually spend those on. There's a lottery ticket. Look at all those coins I just got. Imagine how much damage I'm going to do now. The more coins I have, the more damage I do. That was actually a really good find, considering everything I've got going on now. So let's do a challenge room. I'm feeling way too confident. Let's go ahead and see what we can evaporate, because we should be doing plenty of damage. Oh, that was close. Forgot what those guys did again. Okay, what else? That was close. Ow. Okay, I finally took some damage. That's okay. We still got our purple meter a-going. I'm completely forgetting what enemies are and what they can do. You think all those coins would add more damage than it does, so I don't know what to make of that. Either way, we have a lot of coins. So I might as well spend on things like this because, well, why wouldn't I? I've got that many coins. Managed to get that open. We'll find out. I hate this one anyway. We're not going to do it. We're going to go ahead and uh, perhaps buy some of this. I'm going to get the frying pan. There's a chance we'll block bullets sent at us. We're going to buy a bit of shield and we're going to buy a key because we're rich anyway. Then we're going to fight Kimmy. Uh, so yeah, we're doing plenty of damage already. This should not be a too hard of a fight. I don't remember how this one works, but stars come at me, jump them. 
don't really know what she's about to do, kind of forget. Just keep avoiding all the stars. She's almost dead. Yeah, we're clearly doing adequate damage so far. Dead. Uh, I think we want the bullet one when it shows up, because that increases gun damage. We're all about damage. We'll use up these crystals right away, though we could have saved them really. And here's some more items. We have knife and fork, more shield. There's nothing really at the shop we want, but we will take whatever gives us uh, either one of these. Uh, I don't love either of these options, but we're going to take the heart key. So if you run out of keys, we can use half a heart to open a door. And it really sucks if you can't get through a locked door at times, so that'll be okay. This is a fun room also. Two crystals, give me some eggs, take half a shield. This is just a really fun room for just all sorts of reasons. And then it's back to, oh yeah, those guys we can't hit until they open their thing, which looks like that. Teddy Bear needs to die because he's going to annoy me, but pretty straightforward overall really. Uh, so, okay, we already have one of our idiots hatched. He basically circles me doing extra damage. I like that because I can just ignore it and it's going to help me. It's what I'll call a passive help. I accidentally just turned my purple room into an Ares room, but that's probably okay because I like the Ares stuff better because it's damage rather than survivability and we can start the process again very soon. So we'll go see our friend over here and see what he's got for us. We gotta sacrifice one heart to do it. Alright, I think this one we're gonna take the Forbidden Mask, increase your stats in all areas, and we got the Ares token already, so we're having really good luck. And I also do now have an Ares thing sitting here, so if I touch that, we start the Ares mode. Uh, this room was a pretty good find, so I'm just gonna come back there anytime I need some heals. Which is gonna be a lot because I need to get hurt in every room I go into to get my red meter all the way up. And that really takes some of the stress off me because um, dodging things can be very stressful in these rooms. Okay, someone spawn in here and touch me. This is seriously an empty room? Can I blow myself up? Does that count? Mm, I don't know if I love this idea. My meter didn't go up. Plus we're losing shield and not hearts anyway, so... Maybe I shouldn't be chasing the Ares. Maybe I should be doing the other one anyway. Okay, somebody touch me. Actually, let's kill most of the things before getting taking damage. That way we don't take too much damage. Uh, we got a bear and accidental wealth, which we all already had, technically speaking. There's 250 coins, so we now have 999 coins because we won the lottery and got accidental wealth. So we have the maximum amount of coins, and the more coins we have, the more damage we do. So we just need a gun maybe that's a little more our style. We will also do the challenge room that comes with the laser involved, so that's going to be extra stressful. And tons of explosive things, so uh, also those guys. We already took damage, but we wanted to, so that's kind of fine. But uh, yeah, this room's uh, definitely more stressful than it has to be still. Oh, wave number two, so we want to stay ow, up over here. And wave number three, good, there's three waves. I was just thinking I was having fun with this room. Okay, dodge you, dodge you, you can blow up down there. I really need to touch more stabby things, but we'll take whatever this is, and I think that's just, yeah, upgrade weapon. So it does fire a lot now. Uh, my little panda helper also evolved, and let's see how the goddess of makeup can stand up to our newfound upgrades and guns. Oh, she fires those pretty quick, actually. That's stressful. But okay, we're just going to keep kind of firing at her like this, and we do enough damage that I can just kind of tank through everything, I think, for now. Plus, there's lots of heals back in the level anyway, so we'll take that. I hate when it does that, because if I pick that up, I might go through the portal. So for now, we'll take a heart back. It's a shame I don't have a follower that can turn hearts into something useful. Okay, we got that, so increase heart containers. Nice and easy. We'll just continue on, hopefully eventually finding some better weapons. I almost forget that I need to get hurt in this one, so if you will hit me... Nope! Wow. I've been trying to dodge these the whole time. They can't even hit me when I'm stationary. But if I do a thing without taking any damage, I think it pushes the meter backwards at least, and we don't want that. I want at least one more Ares choice. So we'll kill you. I'm just gonna... Um... Oh, that was my thing at work, protecting me. Got it. You're dead. So that I'm pretty sure is a heart container. Black rum uh, upgrades bombs. I don't use bombs a lot. Let's just take heart containers because we need the help. Okay, this can help me with my Ares thing because I need to turn it into that, and then I just need to touch it. That gets us a long ways down the Ares thing. And I got a free upgrade, so luck is really on my side today. Uh, this one is good because for every missing heart container, I fire an extra bullet. So the more heart containers I have, the more I can lose, the more bullets I'll fire. So the weaker I get, the stronger I get. So this is going to be a really fun build. We're already doing extra bullet damage. I think we've actually doubled our damage because of that. Oh, I need to get hurt. Hit me harder. 
No amount of therapy will ever make this moment okay. Now we should fire three bullets. Actually, I can finish this right here. First of all, we're going to unlock that. Then I think if I shoot that, it turns into a spiky boy. And then that unlocks Ares. So we'll go ahead and wisely sacrifice another heart. I don't know if that's a meter over there or what that is, but these should all be good. Hiccups, pumpkin head, and future tech. Okay, I'm taking future tech. That's going to add shields, but increase the rate of fire. <laughs> so this is already getting pretty stupid. Then we're going to visit the store to see if there's anything here worth buying. Probably everything because I'm filthy rich anyway. Well, I'm going to buy the gold tooth because that means I drop coins when I get hurt. I want to try the new type because I can just swap back and forth anyway. I just want to see what it does. I... Hmm. Doesn't really work with my added bullets and stuff though. So that's cool, but I'm not going to risk it. I mean, the gun I have now is working plenty good. Uh, if I do find the right one, like it just saved me there because something spawned on me and I killed it because my damage is so high. A challenge room is surely the way to go. Uh, but I mean, the more I get hurt, the more damage I do anyway, so this will be fine. If I fire enough bullets, I'll pretty sure I'll just fill the entire screen with bullets and then nothing can survive anyway. Including me, because I won't be able to see. But so far, this is pretty easy. Just fire bullets at everything. And we're done. And we get uh, a weapon upgrade again, so even more bigger, faster, further bullets. Then it's time to fight Sung, who probably isn't going to last a super long time against my guns, especially considering I can just sit way back here and hit him. Yeah, lots of damage so far. Just keep firing at everything. Just keep moving. So far, so good. That's undodgeable. Nope, I did it. So there's two of those. Well, oops, I didn't want... Well, that's fine anyway. Uh, this floor is going to be a little bit harder again with newer types of enemies, but thanks to my gun's range and just damage output, we're going to be just fine. This gun so far is really good for just taking out the enemies because it's so quick. Plus, I also now have a little monkey that fires bullets at enemies, and that was also a really good find, Golden Bird. The more coins I have, the faster I can shoot. Given that I have max coins, <laughs> yeah, this is going to get fun. Pretty happy with my luck so far. Night vision or telescopic sight? I'm going to go for night vision. Uh, every 10 bullets, there's going to be a higher damage uh, barrage. So, you know, that's going to add up to a lot of damage because I fire a lot of damage. I do need to watch my health a bit though because while I'm doing a lot of damage, I can die pretty quickly if a few things hit me. But I guess my strategy is basically this, to just point out whatever's near me and then kill it in a big hurry. This might actually finish my Ares thing. Nope, but almost. Well, we'll buy the shield, we'll buy that, and then we have treasure map and plastic gun. Uh, we'll buy the treasure map because that's going to reveal hidden rooms on the map for us. So maybe there's none here. But we can see what plastic gun is like. Uh, interesting. I think I'm going to stick to what I know though for sure. I've always really liked the default guns. Time for a challenge room. Again, got to watch my health, but the damage should hopefully carry us through this. That was uh, way stupidly easier than it had to be and increased gun level again. So that gun's up to level five. Okay, well, I guess we're fighting Argus. Uh, don't really remember how this fight goes, but I remember it can be harder than some of the other ones. But our damage is good. Oh, that's bad. Oh, the Ares room opened again. I forgot about that. I don't know if I can actually do it from here because I don't know if I can go backwards. Argus is dying in a hurry, though. Um, I'm not paying attention, but I think we're doing a lot of damage. Just a suspicion because he just got destroyed. Uh, not sure what most of those are, so we're just going to take increased gun damage. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I can't go backwards to Ares room right now, which opened up. I am low on health, so I can't get too carried away. And I'm pretty sure there is a new endgame boss somewhere. I don't really know where to find uh, find a new boss or how. But we might run into it anyways. If we do, we might even see it for a second before it gets evaporated by my incredible damage and attack speed. Not really sure what that thing is. Ow. Oh, didn't see that. Okay, I'm literally almost dead now. So time to really pay attention. Oh, the Monkey King's actually going around killing everything for me. That's really helpful. Uh, okay, on death drops, rand I would love random shields right now because I'm very... There we go, a heart. I feel slightly better. And a piece of shield, so I'm actually back in okay shape. But I definitely need to remember things can teleport to me and they will. I can't see anything. There's a piece of shield I want. Okay, shield is going to be big helpful right now. There's a teleport. I just got hit by something. I think the key is just keep moving a little bit because if you hold still, those things spawn on you. The Monkey King is also very helpful because he definitely uh, goes around killing things that I don't see. And the shop is definitely needed now because I'll take a heart, I'll take a grenade, a uh, roly-poly toy, and the eighth color. Uh, I'm going to pick up that. It doesn't really do a lot. Drop an extra bomb if I hatch an empty egg, so that's fine. 
Uh, that's a lot of things. We're just going to try and keep moving, killing things extra quick. Something's about to teleport onto me, but it dies because there's a lot of bullets in its face. So the blue doctor is actually good. He'll collect hearts and turn them into shields for me. Okay, I've got plenty of keys, so we might as well open all of this, hoping for heals. Okay, instead we'll just take a bunch of non-heals. Good thing we've been saving up those keys. Might be a while before we get our next uh, wisdom room. But we have lipstick or serpent staff. Lipstick? The shop will now replenish. I don't know how often it replenishes, but I'll take it. Swallow. Spider carton. Oh yeah, the shop replenishes. I get it. When you buy something, it replenishes. So I can just buy as much stuff as I want here, really. Okay, I'm going to take this spider carton just because it's somewhat helpful. Oh, I got to watch how many coins I'm spending. I didn't realize I'd spent so many. I also accidentally bought some heals there. So that means I'm firing less bullets than I want to be. But if I get hurt, I'll stop start firing more again anyway so uh scary overall i think i'll probably be okay though the damage was a bit much things were getting a little bit easy overall these should be about the hardest floors we can get right now and um they're still not bad because i can just melt everything uh we'll spend a few keys on a challenge room i think we're just gonna get a weapon upgrade which i'm pretty sure doesn't do anything at this point but whatever more upgrades and more upgrades I'm doing so much damage that I'm like accidentally killing most of the things on these floors. I don't even mean to hit a lot of these, I just kind of do. Jack leveled up, so I get another weapon badge, there's another half a shield, I get ever stronger. Yeah, if you want to touch that before something else does, maybe I'll get another uh, wisdom room. Which would be great for me, because I'm clearly not strong enough. It is fairly hard on these floors though to not take damage in these rooms, just because there's so much going on. And it is getting hard to see, because I've got too many bullets. This is neat. So we can give up different things for potential loot. Uh, I could give us some grenades, I guess. I don't know if they're going to give us anything. Well, not worth it. Next, it's either a basketball jersey or a devil's trade. So we'll take the basketball jersey. I can only use half a heart at most when I get hurt. And I've got all this. I'm basically super tough and also ridiculous damage. I'm unstoppable. If I buy this, it, replenish it replenishes. Plus, this gives you an extra coin when I pick up coins. Bullet crown, I remember, is good. What each time an enemy is killed, your weapon bullets increase. Uh, X-ray, I don't know what it does. Your bullets pass through enemies. Golden skulls. Uh, the more coins you have, the more melee damage you do. That's easy too. We have lots of coins. Well, we're running out of coins. Anyways, if I didn't have the uh, increased attack speed and stuff with more bullets, I would definitely be buying every item possible. But for now, we'll just take our, uh, all of our damage and go. I feel like we're up to the task of killing Ares right now anyway. It's not that we haven't killed- oh, he's got some new stuff. He's got like a double health bar or something. Ow. So he does that now, so I just gotta jump when he does that or something. Maybe I'll just stay jumping, then he can't really hit me sometimes. Yeah, that seems to work. We'll just take the random jumping approach. So far I've lost half a shield of health? I don't know, I'm just gonna keep shooting him until he dies. You don't need strategy when you're this strong. Actually, I just realized I have lost quite a bit of health, because I started with more, but I think we're done. Well, we made that look really easy. I want the new bosses.